the least, a nice gentleman. So let me introduce our guest uh, in studio guest today. So Afi Antonio, she's a founder of Afi Antonio Foundation. She's the global goodwill ambassador and a media personality. And Yoku Ata Bedu, who is a communication specialist, are our guest today in the studio. Hello and welcome. Hi. How are you two feeling? Hmm. <laughs> 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 but ladies, of course, it's time to keep it real. Hi, how are you doing? It's not? It is. <laughs> Helen, you think you think differently? I'm just thinking about everything that we'll be discussing today. I feel like I'm going to be lying. <laughs> You'll be lying? 100%. Because already the atmosphere is charged. Those mm-hmm. of you sending me all types of messages. Mind you, face your front. <laughs> wow. So because of that, I will be just, I'll be listening to the other submissions. You'll be listening to the, oh, wow. Taking a stance already. How yeah. interesting. But yes. That's how I feel is the woman should take it all. But I'm jumping the gun. I know we have. <laughs> <laughs> I know we, we have love a lot to, to discuss. See it. Get yeah. to the yeah. Okay. A lot to discuss before we get to this. No, let's jump. Let's just was, jump straight it into it. It was on my chest. <laughs> you no, had, you had to put it out to, there. No, but we have to do, tell yeah, them okay. what it is. That okay. So, so yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, welcome everyone that's tuned in today. Uh, so, today we're discussing a very interesting, touchy topic: um, divorce, and what happens when divorce, um, or what happens in divorce, and who gets to walk away with what? Um, do you? Is it? Is it right? It, do you agree that at the dissolution of a marriage, the as, the I don't know if I should say poorer spouse should <laughs> or the spouse with the least should walk away with um, a significant amount of property and or created or amassed in the course of a marriage. I don't know if I'm making any sense, but basically, in the situation of a divorce, should your wife or would you be okay with your spouse going away with half of it? Mm. Yeah. Well, I think it's something that has, uh, based on different courts around the world, they sort of set precedence on what should happen when a marriage ends. Some countries will largely give a woman not only the primary um, caregiver for the children, but also give them a large portion of property amassed in the period of marriage. Um, but in this part of the world, it's, a very, it's very different. Um, we'll, we'll get a, a legal think, opinion on that. Should, I think we should look at how it came to be. Like okay. That. Before we look at whether you should take half, <laughs> I think that's how it is. Okay, start. okay. So, would you like to start us off there? No problem. Okay. So, um, in the past, mm-hmm. most women yes. were housewives. Yes. And a lot of men downplayed the value of, of the woman in the house. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, so, a lot of men downplayed the value of being a housewife. Mm-hmm. So, they tended to see what the woman does as not contributing to the success Mm. or well-being of the family yeah right now some men i'm saying some not all men yes not all men (laughs) some men (laughs) let's keep it at some some can be most let's keep it at some Mm. some men were in the instance of divorce just kicked out the woman Mm. with nothing Mm -hmm. And so, to protect these women who got kicked out with a devalued life, the courts got to the point where they started awarding the women because somebody had to value the, the work, work the they had, had given. Done, yes. Right. So then they started giving them some amount of property for the, um, years the time. Yes. That. So now we have come to the point where, um, you like it or not, mm-hmm. they they, they have to walk away with yeah. the woman or the other spouse. Mm. The question now is, are the circumstances the same from then, right? Mm -hmm. Right now, look at four (laughs) hardworking, well, well, the, uh, uh, what's the word? (laughs) Well, thank you, well to do women like you, Uh okay? Yeah. Now. (laughs) I receive it. Me all like, oh. I receive. May you're like, <laughs> well to do women like you. Mm-hmm. I'm not saying that if you were to walk out of a marriage, you should go empty handed. Yeah. Right? But I dare say that at this point, some of the women are even richer than their husbands. 
Mm. But they mm. are still. Well, saying, not necessarily. I, I'm, I'm, I said some. No, not necessarily. Because if you, okay, depends on which jurisdiction you're looking at. But if you're looking at Africa and the way our system works and the way it doesn't really give women a lot of room to be to amass property. Don't, you don't think some of the women are richer than their husbands in Ghana. Oh, but it's a rare okay. instance. Really? It's a very rare I don't know whether instance. that's real. I feel it's like it's when you it's dig deeper. Common. Really? It's mommy it's that is so paying common. the school fees, really. Uh-huh. But sometimes mommy gives it to daddy to go and pay hey. because daddy has to prove that he's, he's the one man. that's paying. Yeah. If you dig deeper, let me give you a stat. 58% of the continent's business owners are women. Are women. But how many of them are property owning? That's now, very that, different. That, do you understand? Because of even, many, even the ways our laws have ha, have progressed, mm-hmm. you know, back in the day, women couldn't put property in their name. Yeah. It went in their husband's name or in their dad's yeah, name. Of mean. course, we have evolved. Mm. But I tell you what, Mary J. Blige was making way more money than her husband. And granted. In the divorce, she had to pay him alimony, if you will, every yeah. single month. And I think she still has to do that till this day. Mm. So depending on what jurisdiction you find yourself in they really assess it based on like you said the poor spouse yeah. the person that's going to be worse off after the divorce how can they be uh, protected so i think you're right in saying that these days the women are really pulling their ways you no, know but women women may be generating more revenue in terms mm-hmm. of earning more but in terms of when it comes down to the real value of things right um uh, quick quick stats according to um uh I, I want to find the right reference but the african commission on human Ro- human and people's rights lists that half of all countries hinder women's ownership or access to land and housing mm-hmm. so when you look down at it and you see what really do women have to show for all their the years how easy is it for people to be women to actually be able to rent mm. to buy to own property as a compared to a man so in the grand scheme of it yes women may be earning more Right. But when we look down at it and it's time for the separation of, of, of property, who would end, end up having more? Who, who would have had more access to investment opportunities AJ, or getting more property? On. Having worked in the financial sector, yes. most women would rather put their kids or other family members' name on their property. Mm. So okay. when you dig down, it's hard to find out whether it's Women really theirs or not. <laughs> so you actually don't even get to know whether you should, what you are sharing because it's, it's not in their name. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Or is it because uh-huh. I want to ask? Uh-huh. The men actually lose their wives. Uh-huh. Like, uh-huh. Every man, no, no. You know the funny thing? Mm-hmm. When you talk to people, mm-hmm. you ask the men, so what's up? Like, what's your what's the future plans? Like, oh yeah, I'm building a house in yes. my wife's name. When uh-huh. I die, my wife will have it. When you ask the old man, they're like, oh yeah, my husband will die. And it's like, wait. <laughs> no, but, no, 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 but, but, well, <laughs> statistically, <laughs> well, men, men are, men are more likely to die. They're, but they're, then, they're, they're, but then, it is because okay. men are so cunning. That's so the problem. Dangerous. Dangerous. Coming to that. <laughs> so unreliable. The exactly. And inconsistent. Exactly. That is why a woman would say, listen, I'm putting this property in everybody's name but, but my, my husband. husband. Because if a man says you show you shigelege, oh, he'll not, show. he'll leave you with a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but you see, and, and if I may cut in, 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 in the grand scheme of things, a lot of times a woman will leave property to the kids yeah. and not to the husband because yeah. when that when she oh, knock on wood husband. exactly, <laughs> and they will not take care of the children, they will not take care of the children. No, I have I have suffered. No, 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 no. But you see, woman, I'm not saying he should abandon the children. No, no, no. But women saying that they don't place priority, and you have died. You, you, you want him to not do anything? No, no, no. no, no, we, no, we, no. Expect, we expect we expect that the children will inherit it. Yeah, no. But when the men are left, we literally you you see a lot more times that the women uh, that they will marry after and their children rather take yeah. over the property exactly. than the women that yeah. suffered the labor yeah. 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 for their kids. <laughs> no, no, but it happens a lot, and there are many stories to go for that. Hey, mom. Because when the, when 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 the when the man goes and the wife the new wife comes, they will have more children, and then yeah. those children will now come and split the property that the first wife has bothered to put down for her kids. Yeah. Because so because kids. Yeah. part one and two. Part, part <laughs> three and four. <laughs> <laughs> so a woman will feel that let me just give it to my mother because my mother will definitely give it directly yeah. to my, yeah. my, my mm, the kids yeah. rather than let's that come, way let's come back to the divorce uh-huh. okay now fast forward yes right this our modern day mm-hmm. there are once again some women there are some women they can they, 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 they be guests <laughs> they be guests they be uh-huh. guess, who have decided yes okay and it, the, the issue is it has become too rampant mm-hmm. how um, uh, hold on okay it has become too rampant the case where there's a girl 
who has decided, hey, me, I can't work with these nails, so, mm-hmm. so they won't work. Ochi mm-hmm. in the UK, Ochi football of Akum, no, they now won. Eh, a bit draining the child support. Right? Okay, now, this this matter has become such a big deal because of Ashraf Hakim. Ashraf, yes. yes. Okay. You know that Ashraf Hakim is not the first soccer player, African soccer player, to marry and have issues in his marriage. Yes. Ebuwe was left with zilch. Yes. He was begging. Yes. Because his wife took, took everything. everything. Yes. Sisi. Uh, I think Senegalese or Cameroonian footballer. Senegalese. Same situation. Senegalese. Yeah. Same situation. Was left with nothing. Mm. The funny part is most of the time, these women are older than the football players. Yes. Right. Mm. Even Hakimi, his wife is 12 years yes. older. Yeah. What's the problem? No, but you, her circumstances may be a bit different from those other ones because yes. she was a rich woman in her right. Yes. A I, Spanish I, I actress. Yeah. You see, yeah. that, Millions. That, that, that's, a, that's a question I have. Yeah. That's a question I have. Mm-hmm. They said she's worth, is it 2.8 million? Mm-hmm. If you are worth 2.8 million. But he's worth 27. So. Uh-huh. so but my children. With your, your 2.8 million, million, you are not poor. But her, her children need oh, to your, eat. Your children will eat. Hold on. <laughs> your, with your 2.8 million, you are not poor. Yeah. Okay. You're yeah, kind of rich people. I would win mm. Okay. So. Go get the child support and all those things mm-hmm. that the court will allocate to mm. you. Right. Mm. Use that mouth, let your children eat. No problem. Sweetheart. Why do you need half wait, of Wait, wait, wait. So she yes. wasted all her years mm. to suffer for only the kids. What, what, what is wasted? Wait. They shared their life. Okay, so shared their life, right? okay, uh-huh. so shared our uh-huh. life together. Uh-huh. But now you're talking about only child support. What about me? The no, life no, that no, I shared actually, with I don't, I don't, The lifestyle you have gotten me accustomed to. Good. I don't, I don't subscribe to only child support. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 I don't subscribe to only child support. Alimony is. Um, in their case, mm. he's been accused of rape of some other mm. woman. Yeah. Um, they said his lifestyle is. Yes, and he raped the, allegedly raped the person in their marital bed. Hey. Allegedly. Okay. Allegedly. Okay. So you see, the grounds are there yes. for her so, to choose so, to walk no, away. No, no, no. I, I'm not. Yes. I, uh-huh. I'm not even going to whether she should or not. Okay. <clears throat> she has grounds to walk mm-hmm. away. The court will definitely, looking at the fact of the case, if all that we think is mm-hmm. true is true, mm-hmm. will definitely uh, allocate her some money. Okay, it may not be eight point two million. Mm-hmm. It may be maybe one million or two million, something, mm-hmm. right? But Oti Hono, you are not a poor woman. Why do you want to take half of his money? There's nothing but she like did, too much. Okay, money. so we are, we are we are all assuming that she wanted half. But we, well, we can't really substantiate if she wanted half. We, we have all, all, we, all we know is that she wanted a portion of property um, accrued in the marriage, which is which is which is which is which is which is, which is uh, normal. Yeah. Exactly, because if me and you have labored for ten years, so, we've had homes together, we've had cars together, and you are telling me that because I'm leaving you, I should walk away with nothing. Haba, I, I keep saying, I God now. don't subscribe to walk you away with nothing, uh-huh. right? But look at I, in, really, in my opinion, the question was whether you should take half. Mm. I don't think it should be half. I think it's really circumstantial. Mm. Okay, let's look at what the woman does. What um, I hear so so because of this case, there be a lot of back and forth. Yes, conversation. Pocket lawyers like us on Facebook. Yeah, <laughs> the the real lawyers have cited Supreme Court cases. Mm. There's an Anyete and Anyete and some other one, mm. and they say that um. The phrase used is, is it reasonable or substantial emotional and matrimonial support or something mm. like that? Mm. Now, as a couple, what was the guy doing? What was the girl doing? Yeah. What contribution was the woman bringing? Mm. Maybe they built 10 houses. It was the guy's ching ching that built. But, oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But she hold on. It, it interior the decoration that built uh-huh. the house. Making it a she home. She did interior the uh-huh. home. Making it a she, home. She gave ideas to uh-huh. the guy. Uh-huh. Whilst he was whilst he was running uh-huh. to get the money. Uh-huh. She was taking care of the kids. The home. All exactly. those things. Peace of mind. All those should be valued. Yeah. Right? Exactly. Somewhat. Yeah. Unfortunately, they leave it in the hand of the judge to, to decide what reasonable uh-huh. emotional support is. So the judge one of the cases, I don't remember which one, yes, eh? the judge, in his judgment, mm. said the woman who is, the, the um, petitioner who is there, 
looks like a fine specimen of a woman. Now you see, I can judge. Me now can hold me. Really, I can judge. If they did ask him, I wish I find this. Okay, like, yeah. let's look at the, the individual circumstances of each case mm-hmm. and then decide who gets to walk away with what. Mm. Because if we make it automatic, eh, then we, we create the situation where some young girl decides that, nah, I'll marry this guy. I'll, I'll do all this guy wants and marry him for one year. And just walk away. Mm, and collect okay. half his but it wouldn't money. be but that. It wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be that simple. Because, like you yeah, mentioned, you are away. It, it's no, it, 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 the thing is that it, I think something that you said I wanted to touch on is that, but for in most, let's even park the footballers. They have a lot of help, but yeah. you will find that it's the woman that's coordinating the. Even if there's Stuff. help, mm. yeah. but for a woman being in the house taking care of the kids mm. you as the man would have to now decide say about 4 p.m train, so me to me for, yes have to go and pick up the kids yes take but them for home. somebody else creating that pocket mm. of time for mm. you for to you, earn yeah. money it will be non-existent which is, thank you very which much why, you. which is why i say mm. that i'm not an advocate for working away with zero mm. because obviously if the woman was not in the house doing what she was doing, there will be chaos in your house. That means you would have to do it. And in you doing and it, you can't happens. go for training, you can't ca- make There will be chaos in your house. Yes. So the woman definitely de- deserves a certain portion. Mm. As whether it is half. Actually, in some, Maybe of the, more than half. in some of the cases, it should be more than half. Yes. I agree. Because right. for, especially for those that even give them the seed capital exactly. to start off life exactly. with. And yes. then invest some of their dreams, their hopes, their ideas. Exactly. in create Like, um, what was it Bill Gates and, and Melinda? Melinda. Mm. The, like, yes. when they decided... I believe they divorced. Yes. Yeah. yeah. But she helped substantially yeah. in starting off Microsoft. Yeah. So she, if, in fact, half the evening gave herself it's too little. She was like a, a director of Microsoft. Exactly. Mm. So and same way with um, Bezos. Be- Bezos and yeah. his wife. You know, a lot of the women contributed directly to the creation of the dream. Almost I know. Uh-huh. If they get 55%, Fifty okay. five. Oh sorry, I'm a fifty five. Why not then the, you are in the line? Why not seven then you know, if, if, if they get I still insist on fifty five percent, uh-huh. okay. I don't yeah. have a problem because mm. the the it is obvious the contributions they have made, mm. right? Um for some of them it may not be that obvious what contributions they have made. But the whole world and their brother can see that. Mm. Charlie said, Papa, we say, yeah, Mommy, we are going new PR. Exactly. No problem. Mm. Eh? Me see, it shouldn't be cut and dried. Me, mm. when, when I walk out, I'm getting 50%. That one, mm. that one will create a bunch of entitled, lazy. It's not spouses. realistic. That example you gave of somebody just being there for you, unless you have a judge who is not worth their salt. Unless, unless you I don't blew, really think that Unless really the man, the man made money, money within the year. Why, why do you think people are, are signing prenups? No, no, no. Unless, well, no. unless, unless, of course, like the man is sitting on some big billion dollar idea and she knows that in a year it will be bought by maybe Apple and then once it's bought <laughs> you become a billionaire and then I'll now work away. <laughs> some people can be strategic that way yes. but yeah. then that's when you have amassed a lot of wealth within that one year period because I think they count the amount of years you've been together like the, yeah, yeah. The, mm. the, the property amassed within that marriage not that you woke up yeah. and then came for it and then just I, I had a million dollars before we got married and now i've gotten 10 million now that's the, the problem, 10 million we are talking about is the problem there is mm. um for for the property they will look at what was acquired before the marriage mm-hmm. and what was acquired during the marriage mm-hmm. yes. another aspect of it is um when afi met me i was a track pusher mm-hmm. i didn't have anything to mm-hmm. my name but afi was well to do mm-hmm. and then afi because she's wealthy has changed my lifestyle. Mm-hmm. Okay, my my case in court would be, hey, hey, Afi has shown me how to go and eat sushi. She can't leave me like this, that yeah. I can't go and eat of sushi. Of course. So she has to maintain my life. Now, for, absolutely. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. And that is where sometimes... The becomes, women come from. It becomes a huge chunk of money because, or see, now she has to use Gucci bags and Balenciaga, whatever. But you've no, you've no, you've, but no, no, but you've, 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 you've brought you've no, made no, the, no, but you are, you've made them accustomed to a certain kind of lifestyle so, that you fully funded, uh-huh. knowing perfectly well that they are your 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 your, your life partner. <laughs> now, after you decide to walk away, especially a lot of times because yeah, of you. no, and I have, I have to ask you uh, sh- shortly to hear her points about it, and, and and you've gotten her accustomed to a lifestyle that you have maintained still for the last fifteen mm. years. Now, after fifteen 
years and you being probably the the instigator in this divorce you say you want to walk away but what about me i'm now used to gucci bags and Balenciaga. Go, go away for your oh, yeah. No, but you have kept me in your house for 15 years, well, giving me a certain kind of lifestyle. Simple. And I decide you want, that. You want the final things in life. Go work for it. But you prevented me from going out to work for it, largely, because I was taking care of your family, your kids. And I'll be the primary primary caregiver for the family I mean, I mean, I mean, as a housewife, <laughs> maintaining your home, maintaining they, your they, life. This one, they your have schedule. To, I have no, to no, say no, some no, for no, the, the men. No, Listen, no, there is definitely no, merit. No, no, there's definitely no. merit in saying that there are some women, and you know how I feel about even admitting this. Me, I'm <laughs> all about no, no, but there are women yeah. who have found a way. I'm sure if you live in the states, let's say, in another yes, district, yes, you know, say, yes, they become the like judges, professional. You know, yeah, this state's there. Yeah, they, yeah, come on, man. Yeah. You can be very cheeky. And women have found a way mm. around that. That's why mm. I think maybe men in certain positions and women in certain positions should consider getting a prenup. Oh, no, prenups, uh, I, I, I before they get agree. married. But this is yeah. again. This is for those who have the money. So some of you <laughs> sitting on social media, yeah. she can't yeah. take half. Yeah. Hello, oh, oh yeah. dear. <laughs> Let the, those with and the gold worry exactly. about the gold diggers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, two people have, a few people have sent us voice notes on, on their thoughts about um, how this particular scenario should play out if need be. So, in case you're just tuning in and you're listening to Keeping It Real, is myself, is Helen, is Miss Judy, is Afi, and it's Yoku. And we are talking about um, divorce and who walks away with what and how entitled they are to what when they decide to walk away from a marriage. Now, you can call in and share in your thoughts, 0592928795. That's 0592928795. I'll come to Afi and hear her point shortly, but let's get into um, two voice notes uh, from our listeners detailing exactly what they think about this topic. Hi there, uh, this is Naji and B2022 winner, and I would like to share my opinion on this subject. I know that this question is coming on the back of Hakim's divorce. Um, what I'd like to say is that I think that different couples have different types of relationships in marriage. Um, I know that there are partners that are supportive and there are partners that are not supportive. And what I believe is that if, if a partner is supportive, that means that if you have a business, they are probably working with you to build your business. They are probably sharing ideas uh, with you to make your, your work better. Um, they are probably sharing other resources with you, um, you know, giving you all kinds of support. Um, and I think that if, if a married couple, you know, share that kind of relationship and one is really supportive and for some reason there is a divorce, then the other person is certainly entitled or, you know, certainly deserves the 50% that they are getting. And I know, um, you know, on the Hakimi divorce case, I, I had a debate with someone and I learned what was being said is that, uh, you know, one partner is not getting 50% of the entire wealth of the partner, but what has been acquired during the marriage. So if you look at it that way, then it makes sense because what you've acquired during the marriage, your partner who is supportive has helped you acquire, whether it's just listening to you, um, you know, when you're down, helping you get back up or in other different ways that I've already mentioned. But there can also be a couple where, you know, one of the partners or each partner is not supportive at all you know for whatever reasons there are homes that are not that harmonious couples that are not uh, supportive of each other or are not together so if that is the case then it would be a no so if the person is not supporting you maybe um you come home from work you need a listening ear you've had a challenging day they're not even there to hold you because of one reason or the other or you know they don't want to support you because of one reason or the other and that can happen sometimes also then i don't think that that kind of person deserves the 50 percent um so yeah that's my opinion um unfortunately this hakimi case seems to be like a, a law thing so in america your partner you know, you're supposed to get 50% once you file for divorce. Also, I think and that's what I've understood so far. But if it's arguable in court, then I think that, you know, that kind of case can be made. If one of the partners has not been supportive, then, you know, you can bring your evidence and say that, okay, this person wasn't there when I needed them. So that means the wealth that I have acquired, they do not deserve any of it because they didn't assist me to, to build it. 
On the other hand, like I already said, if they've been supportive, then again, the case can be made, you know, that they were supportive, so they deserve that 50 percent. And that's my two cents. <laughs> All righty, we love to hear it. We love to hear it. Uh, Ms. Judy, you have some thoughts about this? Yes, not not exactly that, but mm. I'm trying to bring in the biblical aspect of this thing. Please, go ahead. Of course, the Bible. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Take us to yeah. church. So, biblically, you mm -hmm. can only basically divorce when your bed has been sold. Mm. So, if mm. you should go by that, wouldn't it be easier that, you know, all other things being equal, all those ladies who want to amass um, their wealth well. just because they've gotten this rich man, mm. wouldn't it be easier if you should go through the biblical way of getting things done? Mm. Unless she's a Buddhist, then that will not happen. At all. At, at the risk of being controversial, mm. yeah. you know the thing about infidelity is the only way you can divorce? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's actually for men to divorce women. Wow. Not the other way around. Biblically, nobody has complained about a man I think it, it's for both. Because you could actually marry Actually, I, 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 no, see, I see the point. Yeah. I see the point. Yeah. Yeah. Because a lot of the times man, the men were cheating. The man could marry, yeah. could go get another girl. Yeah. No, the, a Christian the is person. only allowed to marry one. Hold on, hold on. But Abraham did. When that thing... When that thing <laughs> 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 Hello. You see, at the time that mm. thing was said, mm. okay, it was a very patriarchal society. Mm. Seriously patriarchal society. Mm. So that thing was actually more about if your wife... Soil the hour, bed. You mm. can take her out. Mm. It was never really about women it's about doing both. the same. It's no. about the woman Give also catching the. I don't have an example, <laughs> but in the but was, of a, a lot of the men actually did example. get away with like yeah. having yeah. multiple wives yeah. and yeah. Because the Solomon women and. Forgiving them. It, it wasn't about the forgiveness. It, it, it was. was uh, it was because it was normal. Yeah. yeah, because they all could like have father of nations and stuff. Yeah, in our home. Let me come to Yafi. Your thoughts on this particular issue? I mean, is what, what is that? What is the right amount to take? Is is half too much? Well, <laughs> um, I don't think. Well, it depends on what the two of you built together. Mm -hmm. You know, when you came into the marriage, what did the man bring on board? What did the woman also bring on board? You know, the women most of the times may bring ideas that the man will implement mm -hmm. for the money to the come, cash to yeah. flow. And taking care of the children is not an easy thing, yeah. you know. And the woman is working as well. Yeah. She's not a housewife. So I think all those things need to be considered mm. before an amount, you know, is given. It shouldn't be like a straightforward thing. Okay, uh, anytime there's a divorce, the woman has to take 50%. Mm. When we do that, I think some of the it's women unfair. will just be, mm. be mm. home being mm. lazy, knowing that, oh, even if we decide to divorce, I'll get I'll 50%. Get, of yes. Her, you know, I remember my divorce when we we're going to court. Um, so... It's always the judge that decides what should be done, mm. depending on mm. the stories you people present. Ah. You know, so I thought that both of us had agreed. Uh, I filed for the divorce. And although he wasn't... Let him know, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Let him know. Talk it. <laughs> and you know, I, when I did a post on um, LinkedIn, a lot of people were bashing me. Like, the men were angry that I initiated the divorce. Mm. I, I don't understand why. Is it only the men that can... That are allowed legally, yeah. No. So, um, the story he went with, you know, he he said, uh, like, a whole lot of lies. Me see, who in court court that? You never know someone. Really? I swear. Ooh. I, no I, I never knew my ex-husband could lie. I only found out when we went to court. Wow. The stories he told. Wait. Wow. Are you referring to me? No, like, is, it, is it that same marriage? Those are his stories. You wonder if they are talking about You be looking around. Like, like, I think it's like me. Like, I'm like, wow. And you know, at a point, he now, his lawyer said we... Like he, he's agreed that we settle it, whatever. So mm. I thought when we we just go to court, we just go and sign and because we're done. Both yes, we've agreed to, you know. But we went. The judge said no. You know, it's not done like that. We need to hear the case and everything. Oh my goodness! But it wasn't in the courtroom. It was in her, her chambers. Mm. Yes. Yeah, so, hey, this guy, I'm like, wow. Is this me? <laughs> so at the end of the day, I was asked to pay my husband two thousand Ghana cedis. What? 
<laughs> and it was a woman who was the judge. So the court mm. clerk was like, wow, I'm surprised the, the judge is asking you to pay him because of the story, the lie he told. Ah. So the woman stood on that to say, I have to pay him 2,000 Ghana cities. Is it a month or? No, no like a one-time. One time so any, one time. anyhow you want to pay it, you know, you, you can go to the um, court to pay 100 cities every month till the 2,000. It's done. <laughs> it's up. You know, any amount. I can guess how petty you can be. Hey, every month I'll go to your 10 CDs. I'll go to your 1 CDs until 2000. That's so, you know. And you know, in my case, mm. my husband was living with his parents before we got married. And he had wanted me to move into their, you know, home. home. I'm like, no, I won't feel comfortable, you know. So he moved to me. Mm. So when he came, I had everything. He didn't come to buy anything. Mm. So. He had to move out, mm, you know. Mm, so, mm, mm. yeah. Okay. And um, <laughs> it's it's funny. So the TNT was the 2000. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I don't know. It's expensive. Like, it wasn't the TNT, but he told a certain lie, mm. you know. There were so many things he said. He traveled along the way and were trying to conceive and he was supposed to come back. Like it was a whole lot of issues. Mm. So in some Kokikai you know, was like I deceived him to come and divorce him. Ah, oh. so you have to pay for the cost but, of his coming but back. But that wasn't the case. Because mm. when he came, I, I filed the divorce in I think in March and he came somewhere like in October. So why would I make you come in October and wait and file divorce in March? And we've we've had issues for a while, two years. Mm. Which your, your your parents, your mom knew about it because I went to your mom, talked to her, asked her to call you and talk to you. I spoke to your pastor, like I did all that I could to try and I fix it. Okay. that it wasn't like I just got up and, and I'm, I'm like I want to. Mm. No, I did everything. Spoke to my pastor. He was called. Like a whole lot of issues. So. <laughs> Even when they asked that, is it true that the mom knows about the issue? I went to the mom. He said, no. I'm like, <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know? Is this the same man I married? You yeah. don't know the person. Really? You, no. No, 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 no. Hmm. So I think I think it should be what to the two people, you know, contributed to the union mm. that mm. should be looked at before settling the person there shouldn't be a straight away it has to be 50 percent it has to be 70 percent mm. i think that's not fair now let's come to this notion where a lot of people or there's been this rising idea that a lot of females especially or sometimes males target well-to-do men and women mm -hmm. and then try and create their own wealth through marriage so they marry them they get accustomed to a certain lifestyle. They choose after a few years to walk away from the marriage. And of course, if it's someone who's perpetually building an empire, in that period, they would have definitely amassed some nice change for you to say, okay, I want a portion of it, or I want something of that sort, or, or that, that create that sort of impression. Especially in certain countries, because I have an uncle who's, um, after, in the course of the divorce, lost everything in mm. london lo lost everything walked away and came back to ghana penniless wow. because he had been stripped of everything so you understand how those scenarios can quickly go left but is it true well, to say is, is it true might be is it real, perhaps <laughs> <laughs> to for, for people to now create i don't know if it's gold uh, career out of marrying to divorce and then get a portion of property I mean, realistically, mm -hmm. right? Um, I don't know if anybody has conducted a study and has delved deep into this. Maybe they have. But I'm just thinking about it logically. How many people are really going to put themselves through the stress of getting to know somebody that's wealthy um, just for the purposes of swindling them after marriage? I'm sure that it's something that happens. But the frequency, I'm not sure if it's something... <laughs> Um, that is there like that. I, I mean, until I've seen a study or I know somebody can concretely say yeah. that maybe they have surveyed a bunch of divorced rich people, both men and women and the majority say, oh, actually, they went into it for this purpose. It seems like too much of a hard Or even, even perhaps even being, being vindictive. 
There's a movie. Thank you. Read. That Sorry, you know, there's a movie. There's, there's a movie that. But you know, let, let me pause you to okay. get the lawyer on the line. So we okay. have uh, lawyer Isaac Wilberforce Mensa on the line, who's going to give us a bit of a perspective on. Um, uh, Sorry, on what we can um, get from the law, on, 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 on what the law really states on this particular issue. Um, lawyer Isaac Wilberforce Mensa, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, AJ. So quickly, what does the law um, really state on when it comes to dissolution of marriage and sharing of property? Well, what the law says is that uh, if you look at the Constitution, all these rights stem from Chapter 5, specifically Article 22 of the Constitution. And it talks about spousal rights. So it doesn't talk about a woman is entitled to this, as many people or some discussions seem to be steered to. So the entitlement that is stated in the law apply to the men as well. It's just that over the years, over the decades, Men have traditionally been known as the breadwinners and the women, the caregivers of the family. That's how come it seems um, most of the time women seem to get more from a divorce than a man. But what the law uses by way of choice of words is spousal rights and spousal property. So upon a divorce, initially it was 50-50. The law describes that the property upon dissolution of marriage the spouse, the parties are entitled to equitable share in the, the, the property. However, the equitable in those days or in decades past was described as equal share. So equ equity was equality. So equality is equity, which is one of the maxims of law. So, but however, in recent times, it's been on case-by-case -case basis. It's been on, um, based on the circumstances akin to the particular case before a particular judge. So equity or equitable distribution will now depend on the facts of each case. So you could have a case where the woman would get maybe 10%, 20% of the, of the property. And this property that we're talking about is property acquired during the subsistence of the marriage and not property acquired prior to the marriage. So there's that, you know, dichotomy and when it comes to what property we are even talking about here. Okay, so um, in the period of the marriage, property that has been amassed, then we look at it being split equitably. Yes. Now, in this particular so. um, scenario, uh, allegedly um, surrounding Ashraf Hakimi, where it is mm -hmm. stated that, um, or at least alleged that he had placed all property in the name of his mother and had given basically 80% of all his property to the mother in sort of safekeeping uh, to some extent and he legally owned nothing. So in the course of the divorce now, the situation had become where he, even though worth allegedly over 20 something million dollars, on paper actually owns nothing. In that scenario, after a few years of marriage, and clearly has amassed most of his wealth in that period of marriage, how would the law have gone about it? Well, if he has disposed of the property, he has disposed of the property. Your rights upon dissolution of, of marriage accrues only upon dissolution of the marriage. So during the subsistence of the marriage, you have equal access to. That's what the Constitution says. Please, as please as explain. So you, you should you see what the... the Mm -hmm. No, explain it, I'm please. Sure, I'm sure Helen is on fire over there. <laughs> <laughs> during yes. The, during the substance of the marriage, you have equal access to the property. However, your right to, let's say, ownership of the property accrues upon dissolution of the marriage. So upon dissolution of the marriage, what did the guy have? What did the woman have? Or what did the man have? What did the wife have upon dissolution of the marriage? or at uh, the time of dissolution of the marriage. That's what is going to be, uh, that's what the courts are going to look at. However, there has been some headway in respect of uh, the new land act. So when it comes to land only, when it comes to land only, when you are going to, when you acquire land during the subsistence of a marriage, a man, you have bought land from person X, and then you want to dispose of the land it is deemed in law that it is both you and your wife that are disposing of the land. So ordinarily, the law requires a written consent from the wife that you are disposing of the land. However, there's the caveat that 
that written consent shall not be unreasonably withheld. So even that aspect of the law in section 47, 38, and section 38 thereof of um, Act 1036, that's the New Lands Act, is not even apparent or clear as, as at now because it hasn't really been tested in the Supreme Court, to the best of my knowledge, because it's a fresh law. So that's the, that's the little uh, part that may come to protect a w woman who may be seeking 50% of, of a man's property. However, the thing is still there, that it's equitable distribution of the property. So it's not equal distribution of the property. It, initially, it was equal distribution. However, as it stands now, is dependent on the facts of each case and its equitable distribution. So you, so you, the woman, for instance, you need to show reasonable, sorry, you need to show contribution to the acquiring of the property. So if um, AJ and the husband, they've acquired a certain property or they've acquired different property, cars, land, amongst others, the courts are going to look at what did AJ do in contributing to the acquisition of this particular property. If AJ's contribution was zero, AJ has been living a sort of life that is not even uh, traditionally becoming of a wife. It's difficult for the court to say that AJ, you're entitled to even 40% of, of such property. So the court would look at what it feels in its own discretion, in its own exercise of its discretion, will, de will determine what it feels is equitable. So the courts look at, for instance, um, if there are children involved, of course, usually the custody will go to the mother. So then you need to pay, um, the, the courts will calculate, for instance, maintenance of the kids, how long you've been married for, how old the children are, all these things are factors the courts will look at. So it's not cast in stone, it's not clear cut as it used to be, it's case dependent, it's specific upon each case. However, it is not the case anymore that is 50% distribution simply upon the solution of the marriage. Okay, so let me quickly cut in on uh, lawyer Isaac Wilberforce Mensah. Um, uh, Yoko wanted to ask a question, yeah. but on the issue of the land, mm -hmm. uh, the new land laws. So that's, yeah. does that mean that in the situation of even a woman, mm -hmm. if she wants yeah. to now um, so dispose her of her own land, yeah. she needs to get a written, property, um, written consent. consent from her husband? Exactly so, because oh, even in the land act act ten thirty six, it uses the word spouse. Uh -huh. Nowhere I do see the word wife or husband or anything. So similarly to what what we see in Article twenty two of the Constitution, is the same thing we see in Section thirty eight and forty seven of the Land Act. It says spouse. So if okay. you, the woman Helen, you got married, you've been very hard working, you you are working at a big company media general now you die your susu you bought your land you now need your husband's written consent before wow. you can dispose of that land wow. to that's a, a very third very party. interesting now, now also yeah. on the issue of um third party can, so if i choose to maybe dispose my property maybe not land by anything else a car a house and give it to a friend a family my mother um in the course of the marriage Am, am I not entitled to, um, am, I, am I not obligated to tell my spouse? Well, a house would be in the same category as a car because it's all deemed as landed property. So it would be covered by the same provisions in the Land Act. Oh, however, really? When it comes oh, okay. To a car, okay. However, when it comes to a car, you can sell your car to whoever you want to. You don't, you don't need any written consent. That, that is, is if you acquire the car yourself, the car is in your name as a human being, as a person, as a wife, as a husband. You can dispose of the car yourself prior but, to the dissolution of the marriage. Okay, so what does the, the, the law say about businesses? Maybe not, not owned businesses or, or joint own, jointly owned businesses, but when one spouse owns a successful business, what is the other party entitled to? Shares, nothing at Good. all? Yes. So this is where your issue of you, the spouse, whether the husband or the wife, you now need to show your contribution to that business because the business is not an immovable property. So it doesn't come under the written consent rule. You need to show what was your contribution to that particular business. One, was the business acquired prior to the marriage or it was acquired during the, the, the pendency of the marriage, the subsistence of the marriage. So if it was acquired prior, 
then you don't have a claim. If you contributed to the acquisition of the business, then you need to show the court what your contribution was to the acquisition of the business. So it's based on your contribution, your evidence, you are due before the court. That's what the court will look at to say that, okay, so we are, you are entitled to 40%, mm. 50%. Thereof. But maybe maybe your your contribution is not tangible. Maybe your contribution was you gave him peace of mind uh, when he went to when, when, emotional support. Um, uh, you were the primary caregiver at home. You you perhaps gave him ideas. You supported in some way or the other. Yes. So all that is contribution. However, of course, the court would not uh, equitably put that on the same scale as financial or substantial contribution by way of finances. Now, finally, how... Do, okay, so there seems to be another conversation about how easy or how quickly certain women and men are looking at uh, marriage as a get-rich scheme to some extent. How does the law protect the richer spouse um, from getting maybe someone who married them from two years or for six months and decide maybe in that six months he's maybe gotten a very big deal. He's made a million dollars. He's made uh, or whatever amounts he's amassed in that period. How does the law protect the wealthier okay. spouse from an, an opportunistic spouse? So first and foremost, uh, Matrimonial Causes Act, which governs marriages in Ghana, the Matrimonial Causes Act does not allow you to even divorce less than two years after you get married so if you get married you are stuck in the this thing you understand? <laughs> you are stuck in the this thing for two years <laughs> okay so after yes. two years then um, what happens there are some spe- there are some there are some there are some exceptions or some exceptional circumstances that you can divorce you know in less than two years but after two years um in trying to protect that's how this whole equitable contribution comes inside so where a person let's say is labeled as uh, what, what, for want of a better description, a gold digger, uh, where in this case, Helen, the person, the other person actually has the gold. So if the gold digger comes in, the gold digger and now the gold digger wants to divorce, the gold digger will now be a male or a female. Let's get that clear. The man or the, the husband or the wife would now have to show the court what his contribution was. That's why the equitable distribution appears to make more sense than equal distribution. Because if you show proper contribution, then of course, you may be entitled to the 50-50. You may even be entitled to more than the 50-50. But then if you haven't showed any contribution at all, any, whether by way of emotional contribution or, you know, any, because now people have uh, maids in the house, they have cooks, they have this, they have that. So what exactly was your contribution as a wife in the house? Right. What exactly was your contribution as a husband in the house? So now the issue of gold diggers taking advantage of people, the law has sought to cure this 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 problem. Okay, thank you so much for speaking to us, uh, lawyer Isaac. Thank you very much, Mensa. We, if we need any more clarity, we'll call you back to, to give it to us. But uh, thank you for speaking to us. Um, congratulations on your on your move. Thank you, you thank you, Isaac. Thank <laughs> you, I appreciate it. All right, enjoy the rest All of your right, evening. Thanks. All right. Well, that that was interesting. Uh, a lot of clarity, especially the new landed law. Yeah. 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 Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. All, all, all the, um, so now we can't buy and hide it. So you can't buy. You know, once you buy and you hide it, and then you go to the divorce, they'll they'll find it. I so, just so, put so, my so child's name on it. Thank exactly. You. So so from the day you. In fact, I have asked him about how what happens yeah. when you put your kids. In fact, can we get him back on the line? <laughs> 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 because it will, be, it will be interesting to know what happens when you put your kids on yeah. and in the, in, the, in the subject of a divorce it's like it's, it's for the kids I've put it to the kids well name. it's for the kids, for the kids. See, so, so even for uh, uh, Ashraf mm. Hakimi there's a, there's a twist mm. Mm. we don't know about the side of town mm. but aside of town what if today the mother passes and she doesn't have a will <gasps> that is now his See, siblings we see, we see, we see, that should the mother pass, uh-huh. he's, he's supposed to inherit everything. Uh, so good. he had that clause. But then you see that thing, can, it can't work in Ghana. Eh? Mm. That thing cannot work because the day you give it to your mother, I know my mother. She no, it is not even funny. Like she will probably spend half the money in church. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even capping. Like I'm not even capping for her. I give my mother money and then she spends it in the church. Like if I give her all my property, she will spend it. She will be giving donation. Oh, the pastor said. Oh, I think 
<laughs> no, uh, no, I know my mother. My, my, my mother, my mother, my mother will distribute the the because she wants a bigger blessing. Yes, so if she gives yes. a small, yes, a, and she gives a car up. blessing, <laughs> then a house blessing, and uh, uh, shake it together. together. My boy. <laughs> <laughs> so there are some African mothers. You know they are going to give it out, yeah, and then to, to the family members. But is it a realistic thing to even want to do? To give it, put it in the name of. Other family members, siblings, to, mothers. To do that, to do that, mm. there has to be a written contract somewhere. Mm. Okay, that okay. Every time I'm passing it to you, you're updating your will. I'm, yeah. I'm seeing the updated will because looking at a guy, a, a state in Ghana where like interstate succession law, the guy croaks without a will. You'll be sitting there and they will say, "I'll be sharing your property. And you have to be meeting. You wouldn't do anything about it." Mm. So that, mm-hmm. for me to do that. It means me and the person we have some serious contract where everything is on paper. That because on the hey, head, because challenge. human beings can change you, yeah. hey. money can change human beings. Mm. Yeah. It is the weirdest thing. Hey. Mm. But, then, but then, if you don't trust your wife, why did you marry her? Exactly. That is a very what, good what's, question. What's, what's, why did you marry uh, uh, your wife? Uh, uh, if you can't like, trust someone, like what? AJ said, why, why people you? change. People change drastically. Ah, but you, yeah. you can change that as well with time. If you realize that she's changing and you 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 are threatened by it, you can go and change it. Right? You can, right? Be, you can be, change so, your will so many times, as many times as you like. You can't dispose of it without her consent. That's true. Uh-huh. So so I noticed that you have changed. Yeah. Okay, I've decided I want to change the situation before I cook. Right? The thing, I have to tell you, but you have changed. Yeah. So you you will be difficult to get consent. No, my own will. No, I'm saying that. Let's say we are married. Yeah. I've bought land. Yeah. You were cool. I bought so many land. Mm. Then I see that. Mm. Not That's even the I land feel, issue. Say. So, I feel in some way. Uh-huh. I feel in some way. Uh-huh. I want to change ownership mm. before I feel good take chair me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I'll come and ask you permission to mm-hmm. dispose of it. Mm-hmm. How do we do that? Hmm. Eh, hey, come and ask <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get um, lawyer Isaac Kuo for his mental back on the line. Um, uh, lawyer, yeah. yes, quick one. So what happens here when you put um, property, landed property, in the name of your children, and in the course of a divorce, what 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 happens then? Well, children cannot own property in Ghana. Hmm? So the the property will have to be held in trust by another person Mm -hmm. for the benefit of the children. Mm. So if you transferred it to your children, ordinarily the Mm. the transfer is void. Ordinarily, Mm. ordinarily, yes. So if you are giving it, so for instance, if you are drafting a will for someone, you would want to say that. I appoint so and so as my trustee in respect of, let's say, for instance, so and so land for the benefit of my children when they attain the age of 18 or when they attain majority age, same ought to be transferred to them for blah, 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 blah. So, children, when it comes to children, you can't leave the property in the name of the children. So, you can leave it in trust in, say, the mother uh, for the children? Yes, you can leave it in trust. So the ma- mother can be the trustee for the benefit of the children. Now so that when the children attain majority age, the mother will not have any benefit. And if the mother, so at that point, being a trustee, she cannot dispose of the property. Ah, oh, she cannot. Right. She okay. can also not misuse the property. Okay. It has, it has to be for the benefit of the children. Okay, but if she chooses that the children's benefit is to go to very expensive schools. <laughs> or, or to live a very offensive life and she uses the property to maintain said lifestyle of her and her children then then what happens it, it becomes a matter of argument once again before the court uh-huh. whether or not the, she has gone according to the terms of the trust instrument if she hasn't then she's liable if she has then so it, it depends on how the court will construe uh, the circumstances around the case Okay, so, um, but is there a situation where maybe the trustee can be able to abuse it in some way? And then how does the law fix that? If a trustee abuses property, the beneficiaries can sue the trustee so that the trustee will now have to account for the, 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 the principal or the, the subject matter of the trust instrument. So, for instance, if um, your, your, your father left you a hotel, 
and your your mother is a trustee or the 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 your uncle is a trustee the hotel the uncle would take monies from the hotel like the the revenue generated from management of the hotel so now the children would they can use that they can use that same revenue to be paying the fees of the children maintaining them but that uncle cannot use that revenue to buy himself a brand new bmw is that so yes so but he needs cases, that brand new bmw as as yoku is saying that the 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 cow is needed to take the child to school yes. you need a brand new bmw so <laughs> 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 so you can't make that argument in court. And then if you if you are facing a a, Sebu, a crazy lawyer like me, then we'll see how to play out. How you can prove to the court that you needed, absolutely needed a brand new BMW to take the children to school. And when they are not in school, you use it to yourself. To <laughs> <laughs> you have that the children go to Roman Ridge. So they, <laughs> the kids come in, they come in a very, like, like luxury is the way of life for the children. So yeah, he needs to maintain. It depends on whose argument is better before the court. But once the court deems that you have abused the the, the subject matter of, of the trust instrument, you 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 are you have to account for sin. So, for instance, you have to reinvest the children the cost of the of the BMW. If they have attained majority age at, the, at that point, it goes straight to them. If they haven't attained a majority age, whoever is standing in local parentis or whoever is standing uh, or or the children are suing through that person then that person would take possession of whatever it is and would also hold him in trust for the children to attain majority age of 18. Okay, thank you so much for speaking to us again. Mm -hmm. If we have any more clarity, we'll call you back. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do for you, I'll do for you. All right. Now, okay, so that sort of puts uh, a, a bit in context. Yeah. So you know you know that you can't just have yeah. full access to property and just use as you as you please. But it's actually quite interesting to see. But I think we should open our phone lines for, at, right about now. But um, I'll, I'll come back to you for your thoughts on all the things that um, Spike has spoken about. Um, lawyer Wilberforce Mensa has spoken about, sorry. Habits. <laughs> 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 but yeah. Yes, so you can call us as well, 0592928795. That's 0592928795. Or 0208227290. That's 0208227290. I'm going to come to you, Miss Judy. I started off with you on some of the thoughts that um, our lawyer shared with us on the way the law sort of um, segregates certain aspects of property and everything else inclusive. Seriously, I, I feel realistically, mm -hmm. no one sits back and say, I do for better, for worse, and then actually sits back. Yeah, want to walk away course. with, yeah. But should it happen that we are not jailing anymore? I really feel that, especially if there are kids in there, I really feel the woman needs to get something mm -hmm. that's essential enough to take care of both the kids and mm -hmm. herself. What is the right percentage? In your I, I, don't, I don't want to put a percentage on it. No, but there's an amount, amount that you think this one is fair. The reason 20? why I don't want to put a percentage on 30? it. 30? I would prefer a monthly, 50? you know, disbursement of money into my Child. account. Child. Yes, yeah. done. Consistently for the next 18 years. <laughs> for the rest of life, you have to maintain both. So don't give, don't give me a percentage. Give me no. a yeah. constant stream of income. Exactly. I love it. So, I like but that. you see, that, that, there's also a, a flip side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, in some cases, the man is paying school fees. Mm -hmm. He's paying lunch, yes. school lunch. Yes. Okay. Um, he's probably providing clothes and blah blah blah. blah. Vacation time. He's doing all that. Maintaining the home. Yeah. So Everything. I agree with with Judy if she says it should be case by case mm. because if you look at what the man, uh, sorry, the the richer spouse mm. is actually doing then it may not exactly make sense to say, okay, you take 30% just because mm, you're the poorer spouse. Mm, mm, because, mm. literally, it's kind of the man or no. Responsibilities be behind that. Hmm. Okay, so, um, when I did a post about my divorce, I had a lot of people reaching out to me through my um, inbox. Yeah. And one lady called me. She said she wanted my advice on something. And what she told me, I didn't even know exactly what to tell her. Some people would want you to 
tell them whether they should divorce or not. I'm like, no, I'm not in the position. No, I'm not in the position to tell you whether you should divorce or not. You are the one wearing the shoe. You yeah. know how it fits yeah. you, it tights you or whatever. Make your own decision. So she said the husband. She she was a fashion designer when the the man met her, and the man said she should be a housewife so that um, she can take good care of the children. So and the man the man was rich or should I say is rich mm. up till now. So she said okay, um, she agreed, and they had I think she said three children, and now at a point the man started you know flirting around with girls i think hold on to that thought okay. we'll come back to the story but someone's on the line hello yeah, hello AJ. hi what's your name and where you're calling from yeah this is clifford from adenta hi clifford from adenta what are your thoughts about divorce and the splitting of property yeah good evening to your guests in the studio i think uh, you people are discussing um, an interesting topic um but my issue is that you know um, for you, um, maybe, uh, maybe if you get a divorce and then you have to share property, I think it will be in the right proportion to share the properties among the two of you. The point is that, after all, you are going to die and live every time. But, you know, you have to look at it in two forms. You know, we have some ladies eh, who are evil. Into, who are evil. Whenever they come into your life, they made your life miserable. Because of whatever you have, they just want to do that and hide their way. So that whenever you go to court, they said that they have contributed to you be, being who you are. So that they will get something out of it. But assuming that if I marry my wife and this wife is helping me every time, whatever I do, she's helping me. I don't even need to go to court, with, go to court before I share my property with her. Because she lives for it and I cannot owe all the properties and let her go like that. But certain people like what I have just said, I cannot do that. Because if we need to go to court and spend all the resources that we have in court, I will prefer that. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, points well noted. Thank you very much for calling us. That's, that's an interesting point. He, he's happy to split it so long yeah. as he knows that you've contributed you don't have to, be to it. Yeah, honestly, you know, honestly. Be truthful to yourself. Yeah. Yeah. So at the end of the day, the woman, the man made her become a housewife. The man was fooling around with girls. Mm -hmm. He brings some to the house. Wow. Like she saw him watching porn one evening and was, you know. And <laughs> at the end of the day, too, he made her, is it tie her womb or something? <sighs> and she now has nothing. She has to ask the man for money to even buy pad. Wow. Because she's not working. So she has to go for every little thing. She for has to man. ask the man. So now the man, mm. without me, you are nothing. Yeah. And he's treating her like trash. Mm. So now she's confused. She's like, when she leaves, she's living with nothing. Because mm. Onishi. Truly. And you made her stop her um, profession. She just stayed home, gave birth to three children, looked after, t took care of them, and you are just treating her anyhow. So she's confused. If she leaves and she remarries, she can't have children mm. anymore. Wow. Yes, because... She has... Yeah, she's yes. tied up a you. You see, so she's so confused. And so she was asking me what she should do. I, I didn't even know what to tell her. Like, seriously. You see, I think, I think a woman like that mm -hmm. with a good lawyer can take the man to the yeah. But then the money why to get the lawyer. No, but you see, that's why... That's pro why. Bono. No, no, pro bono. Pro bono. She help me get the properties. Pro bono. Pro lawyer no nyashi. Oh, on nyashi. It's a deal. Yeah. Get me what I will get, yeah. and, and I'll then, give you a percentage of what you are getting. Actually, yeah. that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And and that one with a good lawyer, she can take the man to the cleaners. A good and, lawyer, how yes. is she going to pay the lawyer? That's no, so then you do you strike a, you strike a percentage with him. Okay. Whatever you so, get out like, of my hands, you get ten percent. No way, no fee. Yes. Yeah. No way, no fee. Yeah. That, that, that will actually inspire the lawyer to do his work. Yeah. Exactly. I I completely agree. But let me um come to the point of vindictiveness because you realize that for a lot of the people especially elsewhere around the world they largely take the men to the cleaners or they take the women to the cleaners because they feel um vengeful they are aggrieved they feel that maybe i gave you my all you cheated on me or whatever it is there's usually a lot of 
um, passion behind the need to clean you out and ask for everything. So in, in, in that regard, how do you now, I don't even know the way to frame it, but clearly there's no way to really protect yourself from stuff like that. But isn't well, don't that a... cheat or don't be a bad person. That's the point. <laughs> Because if, I mean, yeah, honestly, listen, I, I, I often say this. Mm -hmm. um, if you want people to um, uh, I mention you positively, yeah. do positive things yeah. in their life, it's really simple. But, of course, you can get people that are vengeful and maybe it's a misplaced uh, vengeance. But would you rather your spouse shot you in the head whilst you were sleeping mm. or took your property? You can escape with your life. Mm. I'd rather the spouse, you know, emptied my bank account and shot me in the throat or in the back, <laughs> in the spine, <laughs> in the thigh. Where there's so, life, there's yeah. hope. Thank That's you. why when, when some, one of the um, spouse, you know, file for divorce, they ask immediately that you go separate. separate. Mm -hmm. like, there should be separation. <laughs> and I remember I kept hitting that part to my husband that he has to move how does he feel about you being very vocal about your separation and then your divorce i have no idea because we don't talk mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah because if we were to open the he might just say hey, he, he has his own allegation oh, me, would I, you would you ever be I, happy I, for I, a tete a tete I, I remember i went to one um program and i was supposed to talk about i i'm like he's not here to also say his time yes. mm -hmm. so i wouldn't want to go into all the details into that because yeah. maybe he also has something you will say that yeah oh, i also did this or i did that or that's that, right you know yeah but to the best of my knowledge if he had listened and at least tried working on what i had issues with we would have still been together mm. you understand mm. Mm. But, but it is what it is so is this silence means consent he, he has consented that what afi is saying is the truth or he's just moved on with his life and you guys just it, keep it separate he's naturally a, a, a quiet person Mm. Because yeah. one might argue that after you are here, you are giving us your side, but we haven't been able to also get, you know, his side. Yeah, um, that's why I, I, I usually don't like to go into the reasons okay. why. Yeah, got because it. Because if you talk about that, then we have to talk to him too. You Definitely. Know about it. Yeah. So, yeah. So I just wanted to yeah. set yeah. the premise that yeah. we also don't know Mr. Yes. Afi's yes. side. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Because he's not here. <laughs> okay, but at least we've said it out there. This is Afi's side yeah. Yeah, of, the of the story. She's our like, guest, yeah. so we're listening to that side. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, yeah. maybe next week we'll also have. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, have I have a question. Please. Yeah, how about the spouses who say they don't want the marriage, but, but they won't go and file? Yeah. And they're that sitting there watching. Like yeah, mm. like that. I mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, but, also, but they what is file. the reason? They are waiting for you to go and file. So Most the, of the time, it's the one who yeah. files Who's who that? ends up paying yeah. a lot more. Okay, so that's a strategy so then that's being utilized. Yeah, they, they, you, yeah. You, you you will die, but on what you not show. Hi. Uncle finally just so just file. What's what? What's you are? What's your then who? And I will break. And you are waiting for the other person to mm. take the move. What's the because point? When they, they think when they go and file, they would have to cough up some money. So they won't file, they are, they are there. But I, I always feel that it's hard for African women to want to ask for divorce. Yeah. I think we end up staying. Yeah. You know, once you are divorced, you know. we also feel like you can't basically handle anything. Even at work, people look at you differently. That's what? basically oh, what I mean. True. You know for a fact, you know for a fact that true. a divorced woman's social capital will nosedive sharply yes. based it's on true. our cultural setting. You know this to it's be true. true. I, I, you know I, this to I, be I, fact. I, 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 you know I, I, this to be real I'm life. It's it. true. Because uh -huh. I remember when I wanted to divorce, some of my friends were like, hey, Afi, uh, there are a lot of women by marriages like this. Where is yeah. even worse. They are there. Why do you want to divorce you know the way people see um divorces um madam it is my life yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they want to be in such a marriage i don't want no i i can't be in something like that but how easy so was it for you to decide see, that you wanted to leave? i i really thought through it you know i really really thought through it and it's either i stay and shut up and you know endure and whatever it is for the rest of my life and and i also had the option to leave and you know be free and hopefully meet someone who would be okay for me you also meet someone who will be okay with his problem you get it yeah 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 
Afi is living her best, <laughs> her her life. best life. She's <laughs> living her best life. Oh, yeah, I found you. Hey, she, she, I wow. <laughs> but That's good in an let me, let me bring another context to it. Maybe not married couples taking a large chunk, but baby mamas and baby daddies. Mm. Now, it's also gotten to a point where certain women are very happy um, not marrying the man, but mm. having yeah, children for the men and then for, 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 the, for, their, for the next... 18, 18 years awesome. will live comfortably on the man mm. taking um, monthly support um, school fees mm. vacations you are buying three tickets because i won't mm. my children won't go on vacation without me mm. um they will literally live a life that they always wanted because they have the children mm. now what are your thoughts on those hey so are these uh, baby mama I, like uh, entrepreneurs? I, I saw, I saw those <laughs> Basically, <laughs> that's, that's, that's what they're out. But for. have you not realized that there's a yeah. growing baby there's mama growing trend number, of re they target wealthy men, mm. have children for yeah. them, and then they will get a house, they will mm. get cars, they will get school fees, they put them in expensive schools, yeah. they will get vacation mm. money, they will get um, a monthly stipend. This is something them. that you all have cited. Yeah, yes. that means the rich men too have cited it. Why do you think that they are allowing this to go no, on? We have, we, just, we, are, no, no, we are infantilizing men sometimes. Mm. Oh, poor guy. He no, didn't know that this to girl with the 46 the, inch the, hips <laughs> and the 26 <laughs> inch. No, we even sometimes we infantilize men. Oh, men know sometimes they've opened their two eyes and their ears and they know where they are going. Mm -hmm. If you have seen it and I you've seen the trend, you think this grown ass man has not seen that trend, doesn't know what's coming, doesn't listen. No, no, to some, some of them go because Those, I don't feel go, sorry for them. Go, no, some, some of them go. I don't some, feel some sorry them go, for them. Some, some some of them go for like oh um a, a, a side chick relationship which ends up becoming a, a full on yeah. a fling that becomes a full on baby mama drama for the next yeah. 18 years you feel sorry for him he, 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 he didn't go there he didn't go there he didn't go there he didn't produce a child yeah well if you, if you collectively here, the, the five of us have seen it, you think Konimo <laughs> does not know? <laughs> you know, but Konimo does not know I that saw, this is anyone else really thinking the woman saw, didn't get pregnant. I saw this so video on Facebook. Did he yeah. take the precautions? When no. you were, no. when you saw, were no. lazy, I saw, when you I saw, you I saw, know, I saw this video. Want to do something, I saw this video on Facebook where the woman was was furious she said she was going to to put her like disgrace her her baby daddy mm. uh -huh. why she has is it two or three children mm. with different men mm -hmm. one was bringing lunch to his child mm -hmm. <laughs> so he bought for his child hey, she bought <laughs> why didn't he buy some for the other That's children true, yeah. like, my friend let your fathers buy for yeah. <laughs> like a typical example of uh, baby daddy drama is Halle mm. Berry so Halle mm. Berry had to pay to her ex-boyfriend $16,000 a month um, in child support and they were splitting custody okay. it was shared custody not only that <laughs> not only that she had to pay $150 thousand dollars as a retroactive payment Aye. and pay all his legal fees of three hundred thousand dollars so he literally walked away with about um a, 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 a tidy and know of course he has to pay all tuition uh -huh. all child related debts um wow. so uh, f feeding eating and pay him sixteen thousand dollars as, as because she was she was getting she made four million a year in that in 2012 and he oh. made sixteen thousand dollars in a year so it's like i'm accustomed to a lifestyle with you so you have to maintain it for our child mm -hmm. and this is just baby daddy you are you're my boyfriend yeah, and then after after a after a few together. years i i saw a, a, an episode of paternity court mm -hmm. okay yeah, yeah, yeah. the 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 guy was making something similar like sixteen thousand a year or something mm -hmm. the woman was making some plenty money and she wanted him to pay her for taking care of their children why? See, that's not equitable, and I wouldn't yeah, support why? that. Yeah. In the in the interest of fairness, yeah, that's yeah. unreasonable. Oh, and these things, no. I don't think we should stand for. But back to what AJ was saying, this women making a living out of reproducing with wealthy men, and yeah. it, they, let me tell you, they, the wealthy men, they know almond in line. <laughs> don't sit, don't think that you have cracked the code and they have it. They know exactly. Especially the sportsmen. Okay? Yeah. They know exactly what they are doing. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the plan was not to get stuck there. Yeah. Why is she that? So, ah, why is she that saying? Ah, say oh, say. Oh, 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 and they have to, and, and with the people in that type of position, I think they have to be even more circumspect, surround themselves with people that can give them good counsel because I'm sure they would have seen it from the past mm -hmm. great players who've mm -hmm. met their downfall by it's meeting difficult. the wrong women. Yeah. And if you don't take, take, take a cue, it it's difficult to ignore the 56 inch. <laughs> You know, there are some athletes that I do feel sorry for. You see a you know young athlete on the come up mm -hmm. get entangled with yeah. the wrong woman, doesn't take you know advice, doesn't look at what has happened to his predecessors, and sometimes I'm like Charlie, what can we? Even for the women as well, if you fall in that pit, this life is unfortunate. Yeah, we can learn lessons you know the hard way. You know, you know the you know the woman who <laughs> that's true. You know the yeah, woman who cleaned out CC. Mm -hmm. it's, it's actually the marrying or dating some other footballers. Um, like yeah, that. Um, um, and that person, Ingalo Kante. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. And then what do you say to a gentleman like that? He's in if, love. In the event that no, he faces he, the same, he feels no, his wife Yeah. What do you tell somebody like that, knowing the climate, knowing that these things happen, knowing mm -hmm. that your predecessors mm -hmm. have been through mm -hmm. it? Mm -hmm. I can't talk much. Mm -hmm. I can't talk much. So yeah, so her her baby daddy got like two hundred thousand dollars a year wow. for like almost 10 years Woo! yeah until they cut it down i think in 2022 wow so yeah he he had a good pay and oh this is my the sixteen thousand is minor is for him then you now have to deal with all that's child support child support was sixteen thousand. then she has to pay tuition every time she goes to his house the house you live in like all that cost had to come back to her yeah rent rent so yeah where you reproduce is very very important <laughs> <laughs> a few days back, somebody was, it was this Hakimi mm -hmm. Matano, somebody was saying that, see, so if a girl, the girl had one child and the baby daddy was willing to give her 10k Ghana CDs for the child per month, mm -hmm. and the guy was like, ah, wait, so then if the girl has three children with three different men, no, be actually, thank you, thank you. She's not doing anything, just ah, 30k a month. Mm. But you guys know that children are not cheap. Sometimes oh, I think no, no. I nobody's saying children. Are I, think children dads, are cheap. I think sometimes no, eh, you, they, they say, eh, women are just collecting these kids. No, no, no children are not cheap. They eat every day. Yeah, yeah, you eat three cheap. times yeah. a day. Children are not cheap. Children are not close to cheap. Yeah. Yeah. Children are not close to mm. cheap. But. In this, this in this modern Ghana, what can ten thousand do? Extra a classes. Month they send us extra classes. A listen, extra, extra classes oh, now for a uh, secondary school oh, students is one thousand cities a, a, a subject. Mm. So just for this break alone, that students are home. If your kid has to do five uh, subjects. subjects, that's five. On the year, on top new shadow, on top new shoe, it's on call hospital mm. boots, that's extra classes. So sometimes uh, the amounts, that's what they let the, the people with the gold worry about the gold again. <laughs> yeah. 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 We, 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 we come off from members. Just, 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 <laughs> yeah, sister, yeah, sister. Yeah. But interesting yeah. enough, yeah. on the issue of athletes, I saw a tweet before the show, I think yesterday, about um, one particular athlete, an NFL player, who wanted to get married and he had told his girlfriend for the longest time they had been together they had two kids that signed the prenup before we get married mm -hmm. they arranged the prenup they sat down with the lawyers they drafted everything up now it's time for her to sign it she kept signing it oh i'm coming sign it let's go he spent four hundred thousand dollars on the wedding um sign it let's go the day before I told her yo if you don't sign it, i'm not gonna get married it's like oh don't worry i'm gonna sign it it's just a, a lot of stress and then uh, she wanted a particular kind of pastor to to be the the, to, the reverend on on the on, to officiate the event and finally on the morning of he's getting ready and then his boys come and tell him actually she's not signing at all she's not signing says saying then you've made if you decided not to sign it then i'm not getting married and you've made your decision mm -hmm. Then he goes to tell her that the, the wedding is off. Then she mm -hmm. starts crying and breaking down. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, it's okay. I will sign it. And he realized that that is a scam because when you go to court and she was screaming and crying, she signed it under coercion. And the duress. Mm. And the duress. Mm. So that already throws that prenup out. So his mama told him actually, if she goes and she cries, it means she wants it to be thrown out at some point in time, and she wants she's coming for everything. Um, so he told her that well, the crying and everything even makes it worse. I'm really not gonna get, not going to get married. And he called off the wedding, and he went to the reception and he partied with his friends. <laughs> <laughs> Not going to be swayed by 56 inches, yeah. And I love that yeah. for him. Yeah, this life you have to open both your Shine eyes. eyes. That's a correct so that is a, our, our last <laughs> words to you. Shine your eyes as you go into marriage, you go into a relationship, whatever it is. Shine your eyes because you don't fall in love, walk into love, yeah. Don't fall in love. Yeah, walk 
looking to yeah it. and and well shout out to all those that actually feel the need to do right by the ones that they who have contributed to their lives yeah. but if you know you've not contributed to a man's yeah. life don't 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 ask for more than your 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 worth yeah i completely agree but then, yeah we had an extension by 30 minutes and we are uh, time is officially up uh time flies when you're having fun uh <laughs> Uh, so thank you so much for making an awesome episode um yoku you were absolutely fantastic um oh, thank you for coming very... in uh, <laughs> by two uh strategies afi antonio is um, um afi antonio foundation um uh, uh goodwill ambassador and as well a media personality miss jude our resident good girl come on <laughs> and helen why is, is uh, miss judy our resident good girl and i'm but not you're another you know you, you, me, me and you both know you're another good girl <laughs> anyway oh, yes um, let but me in a, in a wise voice of bob risky good good girl no the pay <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you the bad girl and i know so in peace so i don't really hey, know okay i mean okay. also i hear i would have no knowledge you wouldn't know that about the bad girl Good, yeah, but right. uh, we're back again at 5 a.m. <laughs> Tomorrow, bright and sharp. <laughs> join sunrise. And Johnny yeah. and William. Yes. So you're yeah. gonna run now. Yeah. yeah. Like we always say, God might not be done with you, but, but we are. are. Thank yes. you. Okay. Peace okay. out. Oh, yes, Afi, Afi, yeah. your event, your event, yeah. your event. <laughs> Afi has an event coming yes, up. Please yes. tell us. Mr. and Miss Autism comes off on the 29th. Yes of april so Woo. if you want to attend or anything please um contact me on uh, my social media handles at afi antonio at afi antonio a f i a n t o n i o thank you where, where is it happening it's happening at um three music headquarters okay where is when is it happening um saturday 29th mm-hmm. from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. Okay, Saturday 29th. Yes. We look forward to being there. So, yes. they should reach out to you at Afi Antonio yes. on social media yes. and get their access the entry it's, passes. It's, it's a free event. Okay. We okay. want people to come and um, experience children living with autism i love that we are trying to keep the stigma out there yeah Yeah. that's amazing so we'll be there mr and mrs autism mr and miss autism happening on the 27th of april 29th of april we'll definitely be there thank you so much for coming to um afi antonio and that's how we run it back one more time that's how we wrap things up i said god might not be done Mm -hmm. with you but what we We are are. bye